Hey guys, today we have this uh, 6600 XT AMD GPU. It's a Phantom Gaming Edition from ASRock. I have um, bought ASRock before for motherboards, but I didn't know that they made GPUs, so this is something new. But apart from that, uh, this GPU, so it's the XT version. So that means that it's got uh, like 2048 stream presses compared to the 1792 or 1792 stream processes on the non non XT version. So this one's also a bit more expensive. In Australia, it's currently at around 879 to 899, whereas your 6600 version is about 749, which is probably better value as well. But apart from that, it's uh, Azure comes in a good packaging as well. So we've got a sort of a bigger box, and then you've got a box inside of it. You've also got three fans in this one, so it's a nice cooling system and it keeps your uh, card also cool. We've also got polychrome sync, so there's some RGB fans for the middle one, and then also your top top of that graphics card as well, which is pretty cool. It's got a metal black plate and an axial fan and then an air deflecting fin, an ultra fit heat pipe and some silent cooling. So this card has 8GB of GDDR6, so that's pretty standard, and it's on the RDNA2 architecture for AMD, and it's a 7 nanometer process right now. But apart from that, it's um, got some good packaging as well. I do find a bit of difficulty in removing the sticky here. That's because I don't want to rip it open. I just want to maintain it a bit. But um, apart from that, this card is a pretty good uh I guess replacement if you are sort of going from a GTX 1080 or you are upgrading from something below. Yes, it probably might not be something that might have more performance, but at least you have the warranty and you also have a newer card as well. So the performance is almost equivalent or maybe better in some aspects than the 10 GTX 1080. But I guess if you have more money, then have a look at the 3060 Ti or the NVIDIA series. So I don't know, if you really have the money, then maybe you could go for 3070 or 3080, but currently the prices are really inflated, so it's kind of hard to be building on a budget when GPUs are probably going to be the component that costs you the most. So this one's pretty reasonable anyway at a reasonable price. Uh, it uses an 8-pin connector, uh, so it's just a single pin, so pretty easy. My 1080 uses an 8-pin and a 6-pin, so it's pretty big and it requires more power. But the good thing about these cards is they're really power efficient as well, which is really good too. So, um, I mean, you've got three fans here. They're pretty, pretty nice to have, I guess. And uh, apart from that, I mean, what else is there? I mean, if you're looking for a budget card like this, it's going to probably tick the boxes. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.